How you do? My name is Alan Cook. I'm here to show you the great find of a painting done by Leonardo da Vinci. It is a painting that no one knows of, and I call it Me Dion, which means best boyfriend in the whole wide world in Italian. It is the same as the Mona Lisa. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, but uh, there's an MF over here. And then it spells out Leonardo across here. It's in my book. This has around 30 pages or so. But mostly pictures with a little explanation. Um, it is for the price of $67. It takes approximately two working weeks after you order it. The, the uh, email is passion at gmail.com. I'll show you a little bit later. He uh, uses the same finger as the model. The Mona Lisa fits within here. Uh, he has the signatures millions of times in here. I'm going to keep on talking and keep on showing. The reason why it's been lost, in my opinion, is in the art business that when you end up with a finger that's here, you will find that it's bent. And if it's bent, you're going to find out that most people will say the artist is no good. Well, he was a comic, and he did cartoons. And believe it or not, my opinion, uh, everybody has their opinion, of course, is that the Mona Lisa is a cartoon and a portrait all in one, which is actually trillions. There's art in the back of the Mona as well as the front, as well as mine. Mine has trillions. But mine actually is a duet. This, the Mona Lisa is a single portrait. It has an MF over here, and it has Leonardo written across the same. It has also writing, mine does. I have fingerprints. The Mona Lisa has fingerprints. They're floating her in here. Her hands and all kinds of things and, and the level. He, um, I can do 1,000 books on this, and I can tell you I will still not be covered. This is actually canvas, and it's stitched. And what he did is like Chinese stitching, and it's what you would call silk. That's actually a lamb with Mary and, and, and uh, Joseph and the baby and whatnot. Um, uh, the defeat disciples, not whatnot. But, uh, just to let you know that I'm an extremely religious man and I hope to make things um, understandable to the best of my ability. Um, I'm handling all this myself. This right here so happens to be the writing that's in the Mona. And it's not only... Um, uh, just writing. You can take the Mona and turn it in every image and you will find that it so happens to have um, uh, millions of images within this. Millions. And it, it's very hard to try to explain because it's it took 10 weeks, 10 hours a day staring at uh, a 100 inch screen and I got nowhere. This I believe is the Lady of an Ermine along with uh, the Mona and and mine and everything. I found the Mona like in in mine. I found Melzi. I mean, um, uh, 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 <clears throat> excuse me. The Mona Lisa. I found all his diary pieces. I found um, uh, anything that I've looked for that he has done at at this time. I have found. There's the pre-bent finger that he hides underneath his chemicals and, and, and images in here. When you open this up and you take, take the, the, the shades out, you will actually can flip it upside down and at certain uh, poles of, of the um, uh, x-rays, you will find their, their, their black doves. Um, he's got little cartoons. All these little dots Believe it or not, these little doodads are images. Um, this is my painting itself. It's actually turned sideways. There's a big horse here. He's got arrows running, explaining who they are. These are arrows. Now, he's making love in between the arm here. There's a woman here, and there's a man here. There's the lines cutting on this particular piece, but there's a better image in the book. It's got a point pointy hat which is um, which is back then it was actually like diva high-end women that were wearing fancy hats 
and when they had um, a um, a party, the uh, the, the uh, they got together and put on a, a party hats uh, to uh, recognize themselves of the enjoyment. The Mona Lisa has tons of uh, love all the way around on uh, her. She's actually everywhere being loved. Everywhere. Same as mine. When This one image is not just one image. So in other words, I pull a shade out of it. You can have a hundred different distances in it. It's it's easier to try to explain. But I got a very limitation here on YouTube. It's the first time for me. You'll see that. This is such a small image, but it's a, actually a dog with a tongue and whatnot. But each one of these dots for portraits of individuals, and each dot actually comes out to be um, a staff from a uh, doing music. If you follow them, you'll see how they run in certain levels. He's got words in between here, along with these music sheets. While he's doing his his paintings, <laughs> he's He's playing music. This guy is unbelievable. But you got to believe it because he did it. I, I could tell you how he did it, in my opinion. But um, uh, it, it, I do believe it's done with crystals and diamonds and everything else. Uh, at a certain distance here, you can see the lover here and right here. But actually, there's tons of lovers. There's down here, here. See, if you see, it's right here. And V, v and again, a bigger image. Now, what he does is he overlays. He's a massive copy machine man. And I try to explain that again. This so happens to be an x-ray out of the Mona. It's the twin to mine. I have a better, better images uh, again. This so happens to be Salvador Mundi, my woman, my man, his feet here. He's in the stars. I can't pull it out because I don't have a good uh, uh, x-ray on it. But the stars do match. Uh, and a perfect overlay on my image in there. Um, there's a lot of images they don't want people to know on, um, so you can use the resolution to find the findings of what paintings are out there or what's in it. But I've been persistent to, to go to um, 100 shoots and, and find which one they forgot to uh, clean up. And uh, it takes a private investigation on this. Again, here's, I don't know if this one shows it over here, but let me see if I can pitch it. Here's the other one, and here's mine that matches. And it goes right in here a large way. In down in here is actually spelled Sali, uh, S-A-L-A-I. I have that all spelt out, and it actually shows him that that, that is actually in the Mona 100%. He has microscopically remembered Every single little thing in which he's done, uh, right down to the T in all his images. Just because, th let me just try to tell you, just because this image is so happens to be a, a, dual, a duet, the Mona fits exactly in here. So the Mona's in here. Also, it's on top of him. It's on top of her. Fits the body 100%. She's got the same dress wear. She's got gorgeous shoes. <laughs> uh he, the, these, the, all these images is, is like a million different things that I can't try to put my finger. They're all magnificent. Um, I have the code uh, written across. There's lace that runs in here. There's lace on the bottom. It's a code break. It's like a line and another line and another line and a line down in here. Now, for let you know that... Um, the um, uh, a triangle, when you turn it one-third, it's a triangle. You turn it one-third, it's a triangle. You turn it one-third, it's a triangle. No matter how many times you turn it. But you take the third dot and you move it on over. Okay, You move it on over one-third of the way or a quarter of the way, whatever it may be. And you will find that that image is moving traumatically. So Leo would take... Now, she has a heart here. Just gonna ch I'm going to change here a little bit. Leo would take uh, uh, that particular uh, image, and he would put 400 images on the outside, and he would put 400 images on the inside. Now, his image would be to where you can't even see it. 
But the Mona Lisa at a certain on the shadow is a heart. So he places hearts everywhere and microscopic smaller than what you do on pixels. So at a certain distance on each on the build, you end up with two circles. And within each circle, there's also, when you pull it and make it larger, it turns into a heart. You pull it out more, it turns into the letter M. So not only is he building items, he's also spelling out his code. But you put two circles together, it's to number eight. You put the two hearts together, or even one, what he got is a heart and affinity. So everything he's painting is affinity love. The man was an awesome individual. Now, I believe he dealt with um, um, the Chinese. He learned a lot from the Chinese. And uh, there's other deals. But not only is there art in the front of this, there's art all over the canvas, in the back of it, and on the wood. And he's even done it on the nails. Every every bit of this uh, portrait has magnificent art to it. And we're talking from microscopic to, to the fold thing. Um, it's in my book. And these copies are... Uh, uh, pictures are not to be duplicated in any way. Uh, I uh, I worked very hard on it. I got five years in it. Um, it's for the price of sixty seven dollars. Um, again, I'm going to show you where it, where it so happens uh, the wording. Um, contact me at email if you're interested. It is called Medion Passion at Gmail dot com. It's plus tax plus shipping. Um, I got so much more. It's like, again, it's only 30 pages, $67. Here's the book cover. It is just absolutely, let me try to get this back and whatnot. It is, it is the greatest find on the planet. It cannot be beaten. Now, the Mona Lisa cannot be beaten either. But this one truly can't be beaten because after he died, Melzi, and I have inherited, inherited, I had writing I saw he, of his will that was in here. Uh, it's placed in here from years ago. I almost died doing this thing. But that's another story. But um, uh, he passed it around. I. I've got signatures that I that I found in code of Michelangelo, uh, Melzi. Um, we see how you see Sali. You see how you see Leonardo. He's got it written in there. He's a comic. He hides. And if you take a look at his deals, actually you'll find out that he's a cartoonist. The man has uh, he's got sunglasses on a lot of his cartoons. He's um, it's really, really, really kind of funny. Uh, but you will find more answers in my books that's going to be coming out. I should have another one coming out right after this. I got 60,000 photos. I threw this together as fast as I could. Um, and I want to say God bless. I believe in God highly. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Allow a minimum two working weeks. Minimum. I will try to make it sooner, but I want to be safe on that, and it may be another week after, but I'm going to do my best. Again, God bless all. Amen.